All right, guys, how are we doing? So we're going to take a look at some of the theme customization options that are available in the new WordPress 2019 theme. So why don't we go back to the dashboard of our website and we're going to go over here to appearances and select our themes and we'll just select our customize button here. And this is basically the big overview of what we're able to change with our theme. So as you can see here, site identity, colors, menus, widgets, homepage, and then any additional CSS, which I usually don't add it here. I'll add it in the files. But uh, starting with site identity, as we look here, we're able to add our logo, which the thing about 2019 is it's very unique in that it has a little circle logo. Um, I'll show you right here. This is it. So this is all you get for a logo, which honestly, I'm not a big fan of. Um, I'd prefer the at least rectangular logo with something like how we have our name written out here. And the way that we've actually written out our name is just site title. I believe uh, the default, this has changed, but I just went in here. And here it says uh, just another WordPress site, which is, as you can see, follows the logo title or the site title. And we'll say the best ways to register domains or something like that. I don't know. That might be too long. No, it looks good. So guys, that's kind of what we're working with here. Um, I don't know how I feel about the header of this site, which goes into the second part. We could also add a logo, but it's just going to come here, which will take down the name. I'm not going to do it right now because this looks fine for the demo. The colors here is going to change all of our link colors, so everything in the background will remain white. So go in here to customize. Why don't we look at uh, the different colors, and as you see, we can change these. Uh, why don't we change them? We'll make them this off red for now. So that's the colors customization. And then going to menus. Now, the menus on here is also really, really unique. So we're going to create a new one. We'll just call it main menu. And it's going to be in the primary menu location. So let's go to next and let's add an item. Um, I don't think you can see here, but it just spaced out a little bit. So we'll add a home page and we'll add a sample page. And as you see here, it's generated both of those. So these are these are our main menu navigation area and honestly i i don't know how i feel about that you really start building these out a few pages and you see it's just like it blends in too much with the title of the site it becomes really hard to distinguish the menu from the headers and the logos so that's the menu navigation again i'm not 100 percent how i feel about that and then if you actually go so yeah that's the menus uh the widgets you'll see there's quite a few that start out you have your search box here uh your recent posts here which will be your blog posts your comments if anybody's left any comments uh archives where you can store your old posts and such uh categories if you have them and your meta and guys honestly most of these can probably be removed like meta i've never I don't use that categories I don't even have them set up so we can probably remove that you get the idea we can go through here and pretty much probably remove everything except for the search but we're not going to do that at this moment so um, yeah guys let's go back here and just real quick let's look at the home page settings and Right now we have our latest post, which as you can see is our Hello World, which is the only post that's out. And what I could say is that we don't want to change that. We'll go back here and let's select a sample page. Let's put an actual page here and you can see it has switched to that. So that looks good. Um, you know, it gives us a few options. Let's just publish this. So. All that said and done, here's kind of the theme customization options of our page. This is what it looks like. You can go in, you can edit, make changes as you need, uh, play around with it, just make changes. And the thing about this is when you go into the actual sample page, you're going to be able to use the block editor, which is going to allow you to do a lot of these things, the Gutenberg editor, 
which uh, you couldn't do on the old WordPress. So guys, stick around. That is uh, the new WordPress theme customization tutorial. Coming next, we'll look one more at uh, 2019. And uh, just stay tuned. Take care.